welcome you to this special service of worship in which Tim and Bethany declare before you and God that they choose each other. It is an occasion which is both solemn as we reflect on the seriousness of their decision and festive as we share in their joy. We are witnessing an important event in the lives of these two friends. Our service is based on the relationship with which Tim and Bethany share and on their faith in God. It is a covenant. We affirm their love for each other as a part of God's will for them. Friends, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. Blessed are they who put their trust in the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, we rejoice in your love which has filled creation from the beginning and which calls all life into being. We praise you for Jesus Christ who reveals most fully your loving purpose for all people. We bless you for your Holy Spirit who draws all humanity into the circle of your tender love. Gracious God, bless us with your presence, so that our worship and our lives may be a true celebration of your love in Jesus Christ, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tim and Bethany have come here to this holy place to make their covenant of marriage. As we are privileged to witness this solemn event as family and friends, we share in their joy and we surround them with our prayers. When such covenant of marriage takes place within the setting of the church, it gives the church opportunity to express its understanding of the purpose of marriage. And so we say this today. Marriage is a gift of God. In creating us male and female, God gives marriage for the full expression of love between a man and a woman, and for the lifelong companionship, help, and comfort that husband and wife share with each other. God gives marriage for the birth and nurture of children, and for the building up of family life. God gives marriage for the good of human society, which can be secure and free only where the covenant of marriage is honored. God gives marriage that wife and husband may reflect his steadfast love for creation and that the family may become a sign of his kingdom here on earth. Marriage was blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at the wedding feast in Cana of Galilee. The Apostle Paul tells us that marriage is a symbol of the mystical union between Christ and the Church. John in his revelation describes the fulfillment of human history as a marriage between our Lord and the new creation to be celebrated with a joyous wedding feast. The Apostles instructed those who enter into the marriage relationship to develop a mutual respect and love, to comfort each other in sickness, in trouble, and in times of sorrow, to provide for each other, to pray for each other, to encourage each other, and to live together as those who inherit everlasting life. Marriage is therefore a high calling not to be entered into lightly or carelessly, prayerfully, responsibly, and with reverence for God. As Tim and Bethany give themselves to each other, we seek God's blessing upon their union. Let us pray. Grace of God, you are always faithful in your love for us. 
Look mercifully upon Tim and Bethany who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises they make this day. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Tim, having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant today? Having heard how God has created, blessed, and ordered the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant today? Mr. Linderman, do you give your daughter Bethany to be the bride of this man? I do. Let us pray. God of grace and God of mercy, you have never broken your covenant with us, and you free us to live together in the power of your faithful love. Amid all the changing words of our generation, may we hear your eternal word that does not change. Then may we respond to your gracious promises with faithful and obedient lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Eternal and glorious Father, bless the giving and receiving of these rings. May they be signs of your unending love and faithfulness, and of the promises of love and fidelity which Tim and Bethany make today. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace, both today and forevermore. You have pledged yourselves to one another in the bond of Christian marriage. You have made your promises before God and these people. You have joined hands and exchanged rings as a sign of your covenant.
Therefore I pronounce you to be husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. To those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. May the love, joy, and peace of Christ be with you today. Thank you. 